welcome to video number four. In this video we're going to cover the zoom and pan feature in Camtasia. It's a very powerful feature and it's something that I use a lot of the times whenever I create videos myself. Now if you remember in video number three I actually used the zoom and pan feature quite a few times if you remember when I showed you the actual call out on the timeline I zoomed right into that and I showed you in detail exactly how to drag and drop the call out on the timeline so that is just a perfect example of when you can use the zoom and pan effect or, or the zoom and pan feature so what I'm going to do now is walk you through exactly how to set everything up so the first thing to do is click zoom and pan and this opens up the panel here. Now in order to create your first zoom and pan effect you have to do the same as what you did remember on the call out section is just click where it says there add a new key add a new keyframe whereas the call out said add a new call out so for this you just click add a new keyframe. Now before we do that let's just play the video a little bit and just push it forward a little bit there so you can see so we're currently at around 23 seconds okay so what I'm going to do is create a new keyframe a zoom and pan effect right here and say if there's something that I really want to zoom in on in the middle of the screen to show people that text for instance now from back here you wouldn't be able to read it very easily so this is the perfect example really so if we um, zoom right in there so now you can see exactly what it says and then if we click play it will continue to play the video let's drag this forward a little bit it will continue to stay zoomed in like this until you zoom out again so then what you need to do after you've zoomed in and perhaps you've been talking about a particular area on your screen for 30 to 60 seconds and, and then you want to zoom out again and maybe show people the rest of your screen what you do is click it again so just add a new keyframe and then scroll it back so this time you can perhaps go right out again to a full screen and then what you do is just click play and just scroll forward you see so what you do <clears throat> is go back here so if you want to test your zoom and pan features or your zoom and pan effects just to make sure that they definitely work just click play here right before the actual zoom and pan effect there we go and that zooms right in there and then that zooms out again and that is exactly how these work now you can zoom in and zoom out as many times as you want throughout the videos and if you remember what I said to you in video one whenever you create your video don't let Camtasia put these effects in for you because when it comes to your zoom and panning you need to do it yourself because when you talk in the video or, or whatever you create I mean I'm not saying that you always have to use the zoom and pan feature but if you do need to use the zoom and pan feature or is required in your video then make sure you do it yourself because you will obviously be able to control exactly where you zoom in and zoom out whereas if you let Camtasia do it for you they do it at random intervals so it won't really add up to when you talk about certain parts within your video so the next stage is let's just go forward like that so we're towards the end of the timeline and say if we want to include one more zoom and pan effect so again we just do the exact same thing we just click add a new keyframe and this time let's go really far in so say if there's a particular you see look how far in you can go this is just a fantastic feature to use and you can also 
move it around so don't think you have to just leave it there you can you can move it around you can move the box around like that okay you can drag and drop it wherever you want so say if we want to focus in on this little box here for instance okay where it says TechSmith in the box in the search box you can just leave it at that and then after say a couple of minutes we can zoom out again so again we just add a new keyframe and then this time we scroll up we zoom out again right to a full screen so people can then see what we're talking about you see it really is that simple and this is exactly what I do whenever I create all of my videos for my products for my blog every time I need to emphasize a particular part of the video I zoom in and not only that if people can't actually see if they can't physically see something then I will of course zoom in that way as well I will zoom in so people can actually see what I'm talking about and and perhaps read the words or see the link so there's lots of different ways that you can use the zoom and pan or lots of different reasons why you can use the zoom and pan feature so it's definitely something you should use in a video and I hope you now know exactly how to use it because it's really simple once you've made a couple of videos using the zoom and pan feature you'll find it really easy to create tons more videos and you won't even think about it again once you've finished the video just click finished and that is it if you want to then delete any of your zoom and pan effects you can then go to zoom and pan and either scroll down and delete any of these okay you can just click the red cross here okay like that and when you actually create a new zoom and pan feature or sorry a new zoom and pan effect and you can't move this backwards and forwards then you'll have to come down here and just select that Camtasia can sometimes be a little bit funny you just have to come down and literally click the button there it's quite random sometimes it lets you just move that straight away other times you've actually got to come down here and click this actual bit of text so you can then adjust that particular zoom and pan effect and one last thing you can also delete click finished you can also delete each individual zoom and pan effect by just hovering over those little blue diamonds there which is the actual zoom and pan effect right click it and then you can just click delete from timeline and that deletes the zoom and pan if you want to delete all of your uh, zoom and pan effects then just click remove all keyframes and they're all gone so that is how you create zoom and pan effects within your videos it's really simple to do but they are very useful and very effective when you create videos I hope you enjoyed the video. I will see you in the next video, which will be video number five.